there was a boy and a girl and they were properly in love and they could prove it, then they would be given a few years together before they began their donations. This is a movie that really kind of rips your heart out, both figuratively and literally, I guess, <laughs> right? <laughs> yeah. Uh, did you know the book prior to getting involved? I did. I'd read it when I came out in 2005. I was a big Kazuo Shiguro fan, um, and I'd read everything else that he'd written, so I loved it. So I would assume that you were pretty passionate about playing Kathy H then. Yeah, I was. And, and when it came out, I, I knew they'd make a film at some point and that Kathy was sort of a part that I really wanted to play. None of you will do anything except live the life that has already been set out for you. And sometime around your third donation, your short life will be complete. That's what you're created to do. What do you think this, this story kind of says about our lives as we live it today? Essentially, it's a love story and it's a story about friendship and um, you know, I think the sentiment that, that comes through for me at the end is about the time that we have and, and mortality. It's the, you know, the sci-fi element and, uh, and all of the donations are really just a backdrop and they're a metaphor for uh, the time that we have. It's just a life that's compressed. So the, the stakes are, are raised and, and it's about the, the choices you make and how you treat the people that you love in the time that you do have. Why do you do that thing, squeezing Tommy's shoulder? I'm allowed to touch Tommy, aren't I? It's the way you're touching him. You got a chance to, to go and, and work with uh, your good friend, uh, mm -hmm. Kira, again. Yes. That was cool. Yeah. I had heard that she came on uh, because you had gotten the role. Yeah, I, um, I think, I don't know. I mean, I, I, it's such an incredible part. I don't know how she, you know, I, I think she wanted to play it. Um, but I think it definitely helped that we were doing it together because we've, we'd always tried to look for something that we could do together. But her career was at such a different level to mine. Um, so, you know, this was the first time that we could play characters in the same film that were in some kind of equal footing. And, and it was great because, you know, in Pride and Prejudice, I had so little to do with her. And, and on this, I got to work with her uh, uh, on these really, really interesting scenes. Students of Hailsham are special. Yes, Miss Emily. I thought the casting of the kids, mm. that was kind of almost a little creepy. I know, it was. I mean, th that, that girl that played you as a youngster, mm look just like you. Well, I didn't look like that when I was 12. <laughs> she's, <laughs> she's really pretty. Um, I kind of looked a bit awkward. Um, <laughs> but no, I mean, it was amazing. But the casting director, Kate Dowd, actually saw about 2,000 kids. Um, you know, they had all these tapes, and, and they just narrowed it down and did this enormous search. So, How's your driving? <laughs> I think universally known to be terrible now. <laughs> uh, no, it's awful. It really is. And, I, and actually, you know, I felt sorry for myself, but poor Kira, you know, I'd failed my driving test and for some reason the insurance people still let me drive on the film and she still had to get in a car with me, so I think she was more scared than anybody. Um, but we survived, thank goodness.